three inch ducted cine whoops like these are noisy little blighters. When you're deciding on your next cine whoop, how noisy it is definitely won't be on your list of criteria. It hardly seems important. But when you come to fly it, you realize cine whoops have got noisier and noisier. They're way louder than a five inch racer. So I'm gonna take four of the most popular cine whoops and do a quick comparison. Just so you know what you're letting yourself in for. These days, when you wanna go for a sneaky little flight with your brand new cine whoop, and not draw any attention to yourself, you can't, because cine whoops have just got so loud. And one of the main reasons for having a cine whoop is the ducts. If they're designed right, you get extra free thrust, so you can carry a GoPro on a small three inch quad like this. And you can bump into branches, bushes, cars, people, and you're not gonna damage them unless they poke their soft little fingers right down inside the ducts here. So on the face of it, there's lots of advantages for performance and safety, but there's downsides. Having ducks means you get blown about in the wind when you're flying outdoors. There's simply more surface area, and they're a bit like a sail really. They aren't as aerodynamic as a non-ducted quad, and they suffer from your washout. Basically, the torque of these motors drops off with RPM. So at low RPM, the prop will stall and can even stop because it's got to work harder to push air through the duct. And that corner will then drop and the quad will wobble all over the place. You'll notice this particularly in acro maneuvers or slow tight turns. You can bump up the idle RPM of the motors or fly around it, but it's a nasty little characteristic of ducted cine whoops. Now to get the best performance from these, the props need to be as tight to the duct as possible. Just here, very small gap. And that generally means the prop tips are bullnose with a very sharp cut off on the edge here. And this is what generates the extra noise, especially when they're running inside a duct. So as quad manufacturers and designers strive for more and more performance, they're just getting louder and louder. Now I've used my squirt for bands and dancers for their promo videos and other commercial shoots where I'm flying near people. And as part of the pre-shoot briefing, I'll show them how safe it is, but they're always totally freaked out by how loud it is screaming away. Same for indoor real estate flights and indoors these sound even louder. So which of the current crop of popular three inch cine whoops is the loudest? I'm going to compare a Shendrone Squirt V2, an iFlight Mega B V2, the iFlight Bumblebee and the Diatone Taycan. I'm going to be flying on their stock props and simply comparing noise levels. It'd just take way too long to try all the possible prop combinations, and this isn't really what this is about. These are all roughly the same size frame and duct size. Uh, they're a similar weight, and I'm flying them without a GoPro and on 4S LiPos. So they're all reasonably similar. So here's the Shendron Squirt V2, the one that kicked off the whole three inch cine whoop craze. It's running 4S with Genfan's dedicated 75mm cine whoop props with a 3.4 inch pitch. And these have got that swept tip design that lots of others have copied now. I've spent a long time getting the tune dialed in and this now flies really well. And I'm running my own design of duct on here, which is like the original Shandrones one, but I've tweaked the duct profile just a little bit. Apart from the small punch outs, this averages out around 72 to 73 dB. Now, this isn't a calibrated audio meter, it's just a sound level meter app on my phone, about two meters away from the quad. But it will show the relative differences between them, 
When I originally ran with the recommended cut down HQ 4x4.3x3 props, it had plenty of power, but it was quite screechy. With these Gemfan 75mm props, it's got about the same power, but it's just quieter. Now this is the iFlight Mega BV2, the first bind and fly 3 inch cine group that you didn't have to build yourself. This is running the Mega B3045 full nose props and I really like it. Noise wise it's a little bit louder than the squirt, it's 73 to 74 dB, but it's a lower and less annoying frequency. Again it flies very nicely and is using my TPU ducts rather than the awful iFlight PLA ones that break if you even look at them. And now we've got the very popular iFlight Mega B, which used to use the Mega B 3045s when it first appeared, but it now comes as standard with Nazgul 3040 props. These look identical to the Gemfan 75s with that swept tip, but they've got a 4 inch pitch. So, hang on to your hats. This is really loud at around 75 to 76 dB and has this annoying screeching. Even though iFlight claim these newer ducts have been reprofiled for better performance and noise. I can only guess what the previous version was like. But it does fly really well out of the box and it's well tuned and even has the RPM filters configured for you. It's a shame it's so loud. And indoors this sounds really, really loud. Last up is the Diatone Taycan. I've only had this a few days and haven't done the review yet, but it flies very smoothly. It's louder than the Squirt and the Mega B at around 74 to 75 dB and it's a bit quieter than the Bubble B and not quite as screechy either. Again, the tune is great on this with everything set up for you and this is probably the easiest and quickest almost ready to fly quad I've ever reviewed. Now, for a bit of context, I thought I'd include a 3 inch non ducted quad. And this is my Vifly X150 that I've been flying on 3 rather than 4 inch props. Mainly because it just flies better. Now, this is a much lighter quad than the other Semi Whoops. Still capable of carrying a GoPro Session or a Hero, but it's all I've got that is remotely similar in size on 3 inch. As you can hear, it's just so quiet in comparison at around 68 to 70 dB. And it doesn't have that characteristic screech or howl of a 3 inch ducted cine whoop. Okay, it's louder on the punch outs, but it's still way quieter and it doesn't growl or howl. And that's my point really. The banshee wail of a cine whoop will freak people out if you're trying to fly near them, even though it's much safer than a non ducted quad. And when I reviewed this Bumblebee recently, I mentioned the noise and I had quite a few questions about how noisy it actually was. So now you know, it's definitely the loudest of this group and the screechiest. So in noise order, we have got the Squirt followed by the Mega Bee, then the Taycan, whoops, and finally we've got the Bumblebee which is the loudest by quite a margin. And although the Mega B isn't the quietest, it somehow has a slightly warmer tone than the Squirt. It's a bit less threatening if you like. 
Anyway, there's loads of other three inch cine whoops around and I haven't got them all available to me to test. So this is hardly conclusive, but hopefully it'll give you an idea of what you can expect. As always, thanks for watching. And if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if it's your first visit, then please do the subscribe belly thing up here to get notified when I post new content. I'll see you next time.